and welcome on back, welcome on in, welcome me back I guess you can say. <laughs> um, thank you guys so much for all the feedback on the last video. That was just a chit chat talking video that I just kind of wanted to uh, catch you guys up on what has been happening the past little bit. My life has been all over the place it seems like. I feel like every time I get into like a good place, here comes, uh, you know, a freaking corkscrew but that's life it is what it is you can't get too upset about things um you guys know my saying the only thing that is promised in life is death and what you do between it is up to you so i really i'm i'm, I'm the type of sorry i'm looking down because i'm organizing my shadows here really fast um i'm the type of person that i try to just manage my stress because there's no way to not have no stress in life I mean, unless you're, like, rich, right? But rich and famous, they even... Whatever. You guys know what I mean. For my life, I really like to try to um, cut my stresses down and pick and choose my battles. I'm huge for that. My mom used to say that all the time, that she picks and chooses her battles. So I feel like that's something that lives within me because you're not going to win every battle, you know what I mean? But at the end of, at the, end of the day, my victory is going to be a, a, white, a life well-lived. So, anywho, if you guys are new to my channel, welcome on in. My name is Sherelle. I do cruelty-free uh, beauty and vegan lifestyle videos. I do have two channels. <laughs> um, I have a vlogging channel as well, and I'll leave that link down below for you guys. I normally leave all my links down for all my social medias down below. Sometimes I'll pop a card up here as well, so you guys can just click on it, and I'll take you right there. But, um, yeah, I'm going to do an updated like everyday makeup routine I feel like this has been my solid go-to what I've been wearing pretty much every day I just don't know where I put my lashes I have a pro oh I think I just dropped them in this little bucket here I have a problem I guess I'll look for them when I get to that point I have a problem with taking my lashes off and just leaving them on my desk and then I forget where I put them you know your desk can get so cluttered with things but anywho I'm going to start with my brows I need to figure out where I can put the mirror so you guys won't see it but I also need to be able to see as long as I see that do you guys see the mirror Okay, as long as I see, as long as I can see that I'm recording, I'm pretty good. And I just need to see my face and you guys. So, I use my NYX Micro Brow Pencil. I'm actually, I really just really love the spoolie in this. I'm waiting till NYX has that sale at Ulta. You know how they go on like 40% off? I think that only happens about twice a year. I'm going to stock up on these because I really like the spoolie on it. And I'm going to go in with my Styly Style uh, Brilliant Brows, the Brow Pencil and Gel Duo. I really love the gel. And I'm just going to pencil in my brow. Here I'm just creating the shape, uh, obviously, as you can tell. I haven't groomed my brows in such a long time, uh, which is good and bad, I guess, right? Good thing for me. Now, normally what I do for my brows, I will follow the shape that's already there and maybe just enhance it a tad. I do have pretty fairly thick brows. I feel like the older I get, the more they're thinning out, which is normal in life that happens. Um, so that's probably why I haven't grew my brows in so long. I might do a trim here and there, but I normally like I'll look at my brows and see the shape that I want and I'll just outline it. And then I go in and clean it up before I spoolie out the, the product just so I can see and everything can stay in the lines that I want it to. So I use this brush. I want to say this is from Morphe. It's either Morphe or, Morphe or Crown Brushes. This is just a flat um, liner brush and I actually go in with some foundation you can use concealer as well I just try to use something that is my skin tone I'm just using the rest of this BH Cosmetics um, BH Cosmetics foundation 
because I need to order more of that, I actually need to grab a little mirror. But, um, so we're just going to go right under the brow here. And carve it out. Now, I like to use my foundation because if you do go on with a concealer that is a brightening concealer, uh, it's going to be too bright under your eyes. I mean, under your brows, especially if you're just trying to, you just want to leave the day on like a natural, more natural look. It's going to leave it so highlighted under there that it's you're going to be able to tell that you used a product to clean up under your brows. So I like to have mine look as if that's just how they are. They're, they're just nicely shaped like this. So I just try to go in with a foundation that is the color that I will use all over my face. You don't have to do it this way, but I just like to do it this way. So once I have it sculpted and carved out, I will normally go back in with the spoolie and just spoolie the product through the brow. Now, I saw you guys want, are wanting a lot of more hair tutorials, so I guess I can do reviews on the products that um, are new to me, or even products that I have tried, loved, and just really haven't talked about, but you will see them on, like, a monthly favorites. I can just do a, like, review type thing and show you how I use the products in my hair, like a live demo, not live, but you know what I mean. Uh, I could do it that way. That might be really helpful. Okay, so see how I spoolied it out there? I'm going to go back in with this Anastasia Beverly Hills pencil. This is in the color dark brown. I'll or alternate between this color and the NYX color. The NYX one is the color espresso. I just feel like the espresso is not dark enough. So when I go back and buy the NYX product, I will get it one shade darker. Uh, yeah, so back to the hair tutorial. So I will do products. Um, I just need to go out and buy more products. I'm like so, I, I feel like I'm always super low on all my um, products, but I can do that. I've seen a lot of people saying that they want some hair straightening tutorials, which I haven't straightened my hair in about three years, I want to say. Um, three or four years, I haven't. I used to do it every two months just to, to trim my hair, but now I just trim it while it's curly. So maybe I will do a hair straightening tutorial. I just love my curls. I don't want any heat damage. I think that the minute I start using heat back on my curls, the curls don't um, as well. So yeah, so I'll think about that one, the hair straightening tutorials. I can do hairdos. I really only wear my hair like pinned up like this, high bun or out curly. I'm super simple when it comes to my hair. Sometimes I'll do like little twists or something in my hair just to have it back. But I can work on that one as well. Uh, okay, so we'll move on to the next brow. Now, my brows, this one is really sparse here through the front of the brow and at the arch of the brow. Um, I've said it before, but I was, one of the first times I ever got my brows done, I was actually burned and it took from my arch down and arch down is very sparse. If you didn't, I don't know if you guys noticed in the beginning of the video, but my eyebrows are very sparse from there over. So I kind, I feel like I have to fill that part in a little more when I'm filling in my brows. Um, if you guys struggle with that, you know, you know the deal. Okay. We'll just fix this one as well. Okay, so for right now, I'm going to leave them like this. They're pretty good. I might come back to them before I set them. So this is what I do for my brows. Next, underneath my brows, I just go in with a foundation brush, 
and I'll buff out any foundation that is left under the brow. So see what I'm talking about? It just looks super neat. It doesn't look as if I have um, shaped them in any way or, I mean it does, or groom them, but it doesn't seem too highlighted. So when you're looking at my face, if I were to walk out of the house right now, you wouldn't look at my face and be like, wow, she did this but didn't do the rest of her face. You would just say her eyebrows look done. Or at least to me it looks like that. So I'm just going to use a flat foundation brush and we're going to buff this out. Next we're going to go in and prime the face. Yes, my face is already clean. I forgot to tell you guys. I used the Derma E uh, Charcoal Facial Cleanser this morning. And then I went in with these two. This is the Derma E Vitamin C Concentrated Serum as well as the Vitamin C Renewing Moisturizer. I use these both and I really love them. Normally I will go back in with a primer. So we can use 100% pure primer. This is the mattifying primer. I really do like this. It is kind of expensive and I'm like down to the bitter end. So we'll just use, well that might be a lot. Yeah, that's a little bit too much. But um, we'll use this on the face. We will pack it into the pores. I, don't, I feel like I don't really struggle with pores too, too bad. I think we all have them in the same um, section. So here We'll just pat. I'm going to wait for that. I normally do my primer. Not too sure where that cut off. Let's focus this again. Okay, we're on. So I'm going to prime my, prime my lids. This is the NYX Concealer in Beige. I picked this up thinking that it was going to be a good concealer for me. Way too light. So I just use it on my lids. We're going to prime the lids with this. If you have an eyeshadow primer, uh, you could use one as well. ELF has a pretty good one. It's really affordable. Um, so that's just, you could, you have your options out there. Okay. Okay, so next we're going to go into our life palette, or my life palette that I've made. This is with a bunch of different brands, but the majority of them, oh, you see, I have to take out the ones that broke. My nephew hit it on the floor and it was murder she wrote. So um, we're going to go into the palette. There's a bunch of different colors in here. These are some of my favorite colors. Um, and of course the ones that broke are like the ones that I really wanted to use. So we'll just go in with the transition colors right into the crease. I like to use a fluffy brush and this is going to be for an everyday look. So if you wanted to keep the lid space super um, light you can. That's normally what I do. I'll show you exactly what I do on a daily basis. So you can go back and forth in a windshield wiper motion or you can like when you're trying to make a color here a little more intense, I just make small little circles and that intensifies the exact area that you want. But for me, as of right now, I just want to blend the color through that crease section, crease area. The top row in my palette are just matte shades. So nothing has a shimmer, and the ones below it have shimmers in them. So, and I've already hit pan on one. Okay, so see how that is? I just um, windshield wiper motions in three of the colors at the top. Now, if you wanted to deepen out the uh, outer corner here, I want to say this color is Deep Roast. Am I right? Am I right? Am I right? Deep Roast by Coastal Scents. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tap my brush in Deep Roast. And like I was saying, make the small circle motions. I'm going to put it right in that outer corner of the eye. Okay, perfect. Okay, and then next we're going to go in with a flat uh, shader brush. I like to use this to apply the color that we're going to put from here to here. 
on both lids. Now if you wanted your color to be a little more standout, you can go in with the NYX pencil in milk. This is the Jumbo Pencil in milk. And you know what, I, I think I will. We'll just tap a little bit on, on the lid. Uh, and then we'll, I'll grab a different brush to blend it out. Now, a lot of the times I'll use this if I want the colors to be a little more true and a little more vibrant. I will use that. Jumbo Pencil in Milk. This used to be a holy grail for everybody on YouTube. I don't know what happened. I feel like everybody needs to get their little zhuzh back because that, that product is the truth. It is such a, a great white. If you have the Kat Von D whiteout, you can also use that as well. Um, I actually gave my whiteout to my sister and I haven't gotten another one yet. So. Um, we're gonna just blend this out so the color that goes over top is a little more true to color. Now on my everyday, I use usually like to stay in like the nudes, the really light pinks, the rose golds. That's what I like to use on my eyes. So nothing's too stand out. Some days if I have an extra little bit of time. Um, in the morning, I will use like deeper colors and, and like literally go in with it. But as of lately, I've just been on the go, go, go. So this is what I will do. And a lot of the times it doesn't take me too long to do my makeup, especially because I'm not um, talking while, it, while I'm doing it or explaining what I'm doing. Okay, so if you wanted to, you probably could leave your, your, your lids like this, but we're going to go over top with another color. This brush, where did I get this brush from? This brush was just a cheapy purchase from Amazon. I just ordered a bundle and that's what I um, got in the bundle. And I actually really like that brush. So, I today, I want to do a pretty color. I was gonna just do the regular like camel, but we will, oh, camel taupe, look at that. So this is a pretty um, pinky shimmer color. I don't know if you guys can see that. Ah. I don't know. So we're going to use this brush. And we're just going to pat it right all over that white. Oh, yeah. Taupe, what a pretty color. Coastal scents. Okay, so that's pretty much all done. You can go back in and just smooth out the lines. A lot of people ask me, they, they or I've had this uh, comment before, where they're like, Sherelle, your process through it is a little messy, but when you get to the end, it's so pretty, which, I don't know. Shade, no shade? <laughs> uh, I feel like I'm not super, super messy. It might just be like that art background in me where you're like, it's going to be confused chaos until you get to the end result maybe that's how it is I don't know but thanks but my thing is I just go back and blend blend and blend and blend and blend until everything looks the way it should the way I like it to look um so yeah so next I'm gonna go in with this Kardashian beauty mascara I think this is on its last leg I cannot remember the name I think it's called like all nighter or something like that the packaging rubbed off it's just left with the moons um, I really like this brush. It reminds me of Flirt Cosmetics from years ago that I used. Flirt is no longer, uh, or they're not cruelty free. I don't know if they ever were, but they're not cruelty free, so I don't use them anymore. But I held on to the wand of that brush so long until I found, um, something that was similar to it. And this is pretty similar to it. It just had a really great brush that you can use for lower and upper lashes. NARS Audacious Mascara is another good one that you could use. I really like, at first I didn't like it because it was, I found it really spiky, but now I really like that brush. So for me that's just what I like. I like a good mascara, especially because I wear false lashes pretty often. I like that if I wanted to pull off my lashes in the middle of the day, my lashes still look good underneath. So we're just going to do a quick coat here. I feel like my eyeliner of choice will forever be the e.l.f. liquid. I love this liquid liner. Um, the Kardashian Beauty one is pretty good. It's beginner friendly. The Kat Von D one is really, really good. Beginner friendly as well. And the Styly Style one, um, these are all pens, but I don't know. I grew up using this and using the, the wand. That, I really like it. Felt tip is really good if you like precision, if you like a really black, black, black line. But I don't know, the e.l.f. one I really love. I'm just going to run and grab a little, um, 
mirror. I don't have a mirror that's closer than that one. Okay, I just ran and grabbed this BH Cosmetics Wild Child Palette, which I don't even think I've done a tutorial with these. They're so pretty. Um, I also was able to get my little grubby hands on the Pastel Goth palette from Kat Von D and the Alchemist palette from Kat Von D as well. I just placed an order for some other things, so if you guys want to see a haul and maybe a tutorial on that, let me know down below or you can give this video a thumbs up. Um, and that will just let me know what you guys are wanting to see. Aside from the other videos that you guys want to see as well. But I was really excited. I really love the Pastel Goth palette. Um, it's such a pretty, pretty, pretty pastel palette. And it's I think it's perfect for the season. So we're just going to do some quick liner. And I cannot talk while I'm doing liner, so... So, we're going to use some lashes. I'm not exactly sure what brand this is, but we're going to use some lashes. Um, the only bad thing about using this is once you start throwing more and more in there, you, you literally do forget what's what, unless you know the exact um, style, if you have different style of lashes. But because I use a lot of wispies, I don't remember who, what, where. The sirens are the only ones that I know exactly because they look way different than the rest. But all my other ones, I have no clue. These could be lashes in a box. They could be Ono Lash. It could be the Ardell Wispy. Demi Wispies. I don't know. All my Wispies start to look alike after a while. And I do use my lashes over and over and over and over again. So. If you are somebody that only won't use lashes because you think you have to buy new ones every single time, that's a lie. I just clean them. You can use some rubbing alcohol and I spray it all over the lash. I'll use a spoolie to clean off um, the extra mascara or the glue that's on there. And I'll set them aside, let them dry, and I never have a problem with it. So I have a spray bottle of alcohol that I'll use to clean. So we're just going to pop this one on. Perfect. Oh, let me not jinx myself. I love lashes. I feel like they amp up any look. They just, I love them so much. I love a good, wispy, sexy lash. I think I love them too because I have more of an almond shape eye and I feel like the wispies, because of how they are, they elongate the outer corner of your eye and they pull my eyes up, which I really love. And I think that um, when I wear lashes, they just make them look even prettier. So I love to wear lashes. And nothing's wrong if you don't like to wear lashes and nothing's wrong if you do like to wear lashes. I don't, I mean, mm, going to work. I want to say if I'm working five, six days out of the week, I'll probably wear lashes for at least four days. If not all. <laughs> Depends on the amount of time that I have. So let me see. This might be okay. I got a little glue. And I give mad props to the girls that can do lashes with their fingers. I literally cannot. I need a pair of tweezers. I don't know. Maybe I just have like sausage fingers that it just doesn't work out for me. But um, yeah, see, it, it takes me less than five minutes for my lashes to be put on. And I just let them sit there and dry a little bit. And then I'll go back in and, you know, darken the line if I need to. So, I'm going to put on some eyeliner. This is the Marc Jacobs liner. This is the first time I've ever used it, and actually first time I'm opening it. Super, super black. We're going to use this in our waterline. Okay, so, so far so good. I'll see if that bleeds down my eyes later in the day, but so far so good. Today we're going to use these Sephora Infusion Drops. I spoke about these a while back in my videos. I purchased this before I moved here, 
Which hopefully they're not expired. They can't be now that I say that. It doesn't give me a time frame. But before I only use it a couple times, I'm going to wet my beauty blender. I'm actually going to clean this one. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. So I used my Dr. Bronner's soap. I love it. And almond. Let me just refocus it because I know I just sat back down. So, um, I like, you can see, okay. Uh, so I normally shake this up and I'll put it directly on my skin. You guys saw we did primer earlier. It has sunk in and it feels really good. So we're just going to do a drop there, a drop there. If you have a brush, you can use a brush, which I do have a brush, why don't I just use that? It's right in front of me. This is really lightweight, and I feel like if you go too overboard, the Beauty Blender wick will pick up anything that you don't want. So really quick, I'm just going to use this flat kabuki. Okay, so we're just going to go back in with the Kabuki, I'm um, sorry, the Beauty Blender. This one's from Real Techniques. I wore this foundation yesterday um, into work, and I'm not even kidding you, everybody stopped in, they're like, Sherelle, your skin looks great! I'm like, thanks! They're like, your makeup looks so pretty! I'm like, thanks, I mean... I haven't really changed much, but thank you. So see what I was saying about the brows? You can go back in and darken it a little bit, and I think I will. Okay, so now we're gonna um, conceal and highlight. I've been using this LA Girl. The Pro um, Concealer, I need to pick up some more. And then to, for me to blend this out, I like to use this ELF Flawless Concealer Brush. I'll use this and then I'll go back in with the Beauty Blender or your Beauty Sponge. So I don't know if you guys watch anybody on YouTube um, or who you watch, but I've been watching Casey Holmes for a while now. I really love her. I want to say I started following her maybe like two years ago, two and a half years ago. Casey and her uh, were friends. I'm not sure if they still are friends. I don't really care. It's probably a drama. I don't know. It may, might not be drama. I don't know. But I just started following Casey, and I really take to Casey's personality a little more than Amanda's. I mean, but to each their own. Amanda's cool, too. I just really love Casey. I feel like she's so humble. I remember seeing her at BeautyCon, I don't know how many years back, two years back, maybe. And I was really excited, and um, she's such a sweetheart, I feel like. And she's moving to New York. And I'm just so excited for her. I hope that she sees all the beauty that New York has to offer because it's such a beautiful place. I love, I'm so proud of being from there. Anytime anybody out here asks me where I'm from, and we don't really have to even get too far into a conversation, when they hear my accent, they're like, you're from New York, aren't you? I'm like, oh, how could you tell? But, um... I don't know. I love it. I love being from New York. So right now we're just going to um, contour. This is the, I'm using NYX Contour Color and Hollow in Inglot number 66, 68, Price Powder 68. Ah, I don't remember. It's on the bottom of the, the, the pan. So I'm just going to do from the top of my ear to the corner of my mouth, but stopping in, a, in the middle of my eye so we don't go too far. Any further down, you could cross into like drag drag queenish because they take it all the way down to make sure they're contouring correctly so I normally will put it there and then I'll blend upwards you don't want to go blend down just a little bit and then we're going to do the same thing to the next side so yeah 
I'm really excited for her. She's getting married and I'm just living vicariously through her because she actually documents, she's documenting her whole engagement and um, wedding series and that's one thing I wish I would have done even though more for me because it's it's like I love having the memories just for myself but when I think about it when we do have kids I want to be able to show them our process and you know what your mommy and daddy did and all that stuff so uh, I hope she captures every single thing she doesn't have to share every single thing obviously I think she knows that but it's nice so other people can live with you through that moment. I thought that I think that's really, really nice. So we're just gonna buff this out a little bit. And we're gonna do a little bit of blush. I've been loving this blush palette from BH Cosmetics. It's the 10 color professional blush. These are like the hot colors here. I've been using the little more muted, so like one, two three, four, and a bit of the orange. I'm going to tap this brush. For some reason, I just gravitate towards this brush. I'm gonna do a little bit of this, like a little, like literally a little dabble do ya of all those colors. Just mix it. Just to add a little bit of color. I feel like naturally through the day, I will get a little more flush because I get hot really easily. And it's weird, I get hot really easily and I get cold really easily. Okay, so we're almost done. Last thing we're gonna do are lower lashes and lips. So you can use whatever mascara you like. I'm gonna go back in with that Kardashian one. I can already see on that waterline the Marc Jacobs is already wearing off, so I don't know how I'm gonna like that. Okay, so lately I've been going in with two colors and a uh, lip gloss. So I've been using the Kat Von D's Noble and Agatha. These are really, really light colors. These are actually colors that I probably wouldn't recommend unless you use a lip liner. But because I have a little bit more pigmented lips, I can kind of get away with it. So I'll go in with this deeper one first. This is Noble. And then I'll go right over top of that. It's funny, somebody commented on one of the last videos and was like, I love the lip color that you're wearing. Please tell me. And I told them, but I don't wear a lip liner with these. Like, you could see, my lips are super pigmented. If you wanted to, you can go in with a lip liner. I like uh, some of the Kiko Cosmetics 315 you could use if you wanted to. It's a nice brown. Kat Von D actually just came out with one called Crucifix, which is a true brown. If you wanted to, you could do the Obsessive Compulsive Cosmetics in Sybil. That's a pretty brown as well. Um, but as of right now, I don't really have to use one. So, and then I'm just going to go in with this. This is Milani Cosmetics uh, Lip Brilliant Shine Lip Gloss in Bare Secret. I think I called it Bare Naked before. Bare secret. And that's pretty much all I will do. Now, if you want to, too, I have been highlighting just a tinge. And I've been using this Inglot uh, Face and Body Illuminator. This is in the color 66. I'll put a little bit on the back of my hand, like the tiniest bit. And I'll use my ring finger. And I will... Just tap it. I feel like I want to go to Ross today or TJ Maxx. I ran into this girl and she had this really dope denim jacket on. It was like super, super distressed. And she told me she got it from Ross. And I was like, well, at least if I can't find that exact jacket, which I hate to be a biter like that, but the jacket was that dope. I was thinking I could just find like a cheapy one and cut it up and make it pretty similar. Um, but yeah, you just tap, tap, tap until it's all blended and you're good to go. Now, 
feel like this side didn't blend as well. So you can go back in with your beauty blender. And this is pretty much the look that I do every, every day. Yesterday I washed my hair. So this is what the fresh wash, second day wash looks like. Curls are still intact. Um, I try to keep my hands out of it so I'm not... I do not know where it cut off and I was just talking for a million years. So this is the end result. Hopefully you guys like it. This is pretty much what I wear to work on a daily basis, I would say. Just a nude, natural eye. I might change it up here and there with the color on the lid, but either way, this is pretty much what it looks like. Lashes, lips. I really, like, days that I really don't want to do makeup or I'm not really feeling it, lashes and lips, minimum. Skin can be super bare, like how it is. These Sephora drops really help me achieve that. I know this is like this old school throwback, because uh, I purchased that a while ago, but I really, really love them. I can recommend those. They're really, really good. Um... Yeah, and I highly recommend you guys go out and get this Milani lip gloss. I love lip gloss. I'm a glossy person. I feel like if I have a gloss on my lips, I won't have to use my chapstick as much. If I don't, I'm using more chapstick. So, um, yeah, hopefully all is well with you guys and you did enjoy this video. Give this video a thumbs up if you really do like it. And um, I shall see you guys in the next one. If you have not subscribed, please do. I don't know what you're waiting on. You guys can also pop over to my vlogging channel if you're interested in seeing what I do on a daily basis or in between time. But hopefully all is well with you guys, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Please remember to be blessed, well-dressed, and not stressed, and I'll see you there.